Well, Oklahoma is currently producing about 500 megawatts of energy from the wind. Yet estimates are northwest Oklahoma alone has the potential to produce 40 times that amount, 20,000 megawatts, all from something that is free. We just have to capture it. A potential that could make Oklahoma the number one energy producer in the nation and has many western towns believing their future lies with what's sweeping down the plains. Our Keith Smith is in Weatherford, Oklahoma, a small town with our state's largest wind farm. Rob, the wind hadn't quite kicked in when we first got here, but we soon found out it's always windy in Weatherford. Hard to miss, even if you're in a rush. Nearly 100 wind turbines surround the small town of Weatherford off I-40 in western Oklahoma. Longtime local Leslie Crawl showing off what he likes to call his wind crop. This is one of two wind towers that are on my family's farm. A farmer at the forefront of the state's growing wind industry. As you can tell by looking at the grass and my hair, it's uh, blowing pretty good today. Most days the wind's going to blow. Mayor Mike Brown says the Wind Energy Center has been a breath of fresh air since its inception in 2005. Going green has meant more green, a financial windfall. Uh, each one of them receives somewhere between four and $5,000 a year per turbine uh, for a 20-year um, uh, contract, and uh, uh, naturally they spend that money here in Weatherford. Jobs have been created with the investment in wind energy that produces enough electricity to power more than 44,000 homes. When they actually constructed the wind turbines, there was about 150 people that came in to uh, um, you know, actually build those turbines. We didn't pick them, they picked us. Weatherford's economic development director, Bill Shonley, says wind is the way to go. They're good paying jobs and they're study jobs and they're, uh, and they're needed jobs. Now, there's been close to $2 million that uh, has come back to our community to be spent for the people that live here. With money going back into the community, catching the wind caught on. I'd say that I could, you know, uh, really not even take a, a handful of fingers to uh, I tell you how many people were against it. What we have here is a series of about 30, 35 photographs. Weatherford resident Jim Lovell loved the idea. So much, in fact, he spends his time giving tours and wind history lessons. We were amazed how windy it was that first summer that we were here. So I went to the library and just quickly checked it out and learned that it was less than a normal wind this that summer. <laughs> they tell us that if the wind's blowing at least uh, seven or eight miles an hour that they're uh, making electricity. So uh, uh, even though we're apologetic about the wind sometimes, uh, uh, the people in that business say that's the sound of money. If you get underneath them, they're very awe-inspiring. They're, they're, they look large from the, the road, but when you get up underneath one of them, they're, they're huge. And you don't have to go far to find out about the 260-foot wind turbines. There's a display right next to City Hall. I think that when people get up here and take a look at the, uh, the base of that uh, blade and, and realize how big it is, uh, uh, you know, a lot of them are in awe. A sense of pride for a place that has always been blessed with Oklahoma's most abundant resource. The economy being dependent on, uh, you know, oil, gas, whatever it might be, uh, uh, they feel like that, hey, this is a step in the right direction. And so, you know, I think there is a sense of pride that, uh, uh, hey, we're part of that and that, you know, we are on the, the cutting edge and that we are on the ground floor. The change in the landscape has brought its own laughs, though the town has always had a sense of humor. When we had friends come to visit us after we retired, they'd ask, you know, is it always that very question, is it always this windy? And I'd say no. And they said, well, that's good. And I said, no, I'm saying no because normally it's windier than this. We had a tourist come through town one day and, and they saw all the towers here by the interstate. And he said, what in the world are those? And they said, well, in the summertime, Weatherford gets real hot and we turn those around and we use those for fans to cool off town. And the wind comes blowing down the plains. Well, it certainly does, but that wind is a good indicator that all is well. Well, indeed, in Weatherford. When you look at those wind turbines and, uh, uh, you know, seeing those at a sunset, I mean, it really is almost majestic uh, to, to watch those. You know, we're going to be looked back as, you know, one of the first uh, uh, really uh, successful wind farms in the nation. 
As the wind goes, so goes Weatherford, and they think they're headed in the right direction. So, Keith, it sounds like this could be just the beginning. Yes, Rob, they very well may expand. They think they're on the ground floor of something really big here.